Good day to all. The lesson that I'm doing for you all today is on the face of it by Suzanne Hill. Appearances can be deceptive. The way we perceive the world and life determines the kind of life we all lead and live. When our happiness depends on others and on external things, that happiness will always be short-lived and temporary. The real happiness comes from within and the outlook that we all bear. The people who are challenged or are differently able, they not necessarily suffer from their own challenges, but the alienation and the indifference and the tepid attitude that they face every moment and day of their life is actually what they suffer from. In the lesson, the author had spoken about two different sides of the same coin. Mr. Lamb, in spite of his physical disadvantage, had learned to accept life and had developed a wonderful positive attitude towards everything around, and that had made him leading a happy and joyous life. Maybe at times he could have his sense of loneliness, but he had never allowed it to affect him to that extent where he would have stopped completely living his life. Whereas there was this young boy, Derry, because of his physical disadvantage, with a burnt face, had completely withdrawn himself from the society around and developed an out and out not so positive an attitude, started living in a reclusive and lonely world of his own, and which was why nothing in and around could arouse excitement and joy in him. And who was to suffer for that kind of attitude and indifference? Not the society and the people around, he himself alone was. So it is our perception alone that determines the kind of life that we all lead and live. If one to find happiness, it is around within us alone. And if we become judgmental about people and life, then we never ever can be happy, nor ever would be able to find friends around in this society. Please work around with the dictionary for the following words for their etymology, usage, and definition. Scrum, vid, greater, deft, swish, alienation. Perceive, dribble, thumping, reclusive, arouse. Thank you.